se hat. It was not a happy childhood for Ted. He wasn't one of the guys. He was skinny and very girly looking, and he only accentuated by wearing really short shorts, and boys didn't wear short shorts. Girls did. My name's Sandy Holt, and I grew up in the same neighborhood as Ted from the time I was five until I was 15. For a long time, he had a horrible speech impediment, and some words he just plain couldn't pronounce, so it was very hard to understand him. I think the speech impediment came because of the abuse from his grandfather. Ted told my brother that his grandfather enjoyed beating him and putting him down and calling him a bastard and he should have never been born. He never admitted to Ted that he was his father, but his mother told him that, yeah, her dad had raped her. His grandfather was his father. Quite frankly, the only thing that really counts in my mind is what happened when he was five years old or ten years old. Everything that's happened to that guy that brought him to the point where he acts in such a destructive and deadly way. And that's what's important. Even among his peers, he was odd. He hung one of the stray cats in the neighborhood from one of the clotheslines in the backyard, doused it in lighter fluid and set it on fire. And I heard that cat squealing. And by the time somebody got out there with the hose, the cat was gone, of course. I mean, that was just too much shock for the poor thing. I think this is Ted's house. And they put new shutters around the windows, put in a new door. They did a lot to try to change the looks of it. New roof. Ted used to drag the little kids in the neighborhood out into the woods over there. He'd take them out there and strip them down, take their clothes. You'd hear them screaming for blocks. I mean, no matter where we were here, we could hear them screaming. Because he liked to terrify people. He liked to be in charge. He liked to inflict pain and suffering and fear. I used to jump out from behind bushes and to scare my friends and well, it's great. Jumping out from behind bushes was never my thing. People don't want to feel like they've been fooled, like they've known someone and yet they didn't know them. People are fishing around, they want a hook, they want a smoking gun, they want cause and effect and it's not going to be there. It's not going to be there.